Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This morning, what we're going to be talking about is how to flip your socket block adapter if you're going to switch to a back mounted vest or from the pro, to the pro vest or from goofy to normal. I'm also going to show you how to properly extract and install the canisters. The tools that you will need will be white lithium grease, comes in a white tub most of the time. It's formerly known as Lizagaf. You'll need your two pro, they're gold, and if you haven't seen them in 10 or 15 years, they're probably in the pro arm bag lid. You'll need a 532nd, or excuse me, this is a quarter inch Allen wrench, and a 532nd Allen wrench. First of all, we'll take the gold tools. We're gonna to put them right here on these pins, or these caps, excuse me, and we're going to loosen that. Take this cap off. Now, if you haven't had that off ever in your life, it might not come off like that, so you might have to little turn it on there. Don't lose this, you'll need it. You're gonna use this Allen wrench as a tool because you don't have fancy punches and things like I do here in the shop. So we're gonna put that guy right on there and you're gonna chase this pin with this tool. Just whack it a couple good times. Get her going. Be careful of the threads. Just chase that through there like that. Now, it's not quite out. There we go. Don't panic if that thing falls off, it's fine. You're simply going to grasp your socket block adapter and flip it over. Don't mess with any of this stuff in here. Just flip it over. Line that up, take your pin, and wiggle the socket block adapter and push the pin in. That's it. Tap that, tap that guy into place. Don't use a hammer, plastic. All right. You put your end cap back on. And don't forget to retighten them. <clears throat> you just flipped your socket block adapter, springs did not go flying, and you're not down. Next thing we're going to cover, moving right into <clears throat> how to properly take and or extract and install your canisters. To extract the canisters, you'll use this bolt right here. There are one, two, three, four positions. We'll go back to this one. We're gonna extract this canister. So I put my tool in there and I just loosen my screw. I want you to take either your left hand or your right hand, whichever hand you use. I use my left hand. You're going to squeeze these bones together and at the same time put a little pressure on that allen wrench and you'll just pull your bolt out. Sometimes it doesn't come out, but oops. Help if I get the threads out. Like that. The canister comes right out. Move into position number two. Loosen the bolt all the way. Squeeze the bone and extract the bolt. Position number three. <clears throat> Squeeze the bones, pull it out like that. Loosen it. Squeeze the bones. And the reason you're squeezing is you're compressing these bumpers in there. That's all. And our little guys back up. <clears throat> Now, what I'm going to do is I had those canisters in the wrong position for not just because I don't send them out like that. So I'm going to put a blue one there. I'm going to put a blue one here. I'm going to put a black one there. I'm going to put a black one there. That's just the way I like to do it. Now, <clears throat> we will use our 
white lithium grease. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on those threads. Not, you don't have to use a lot, just a little bit, no big deal. Now, we're going to put them back in. Pick up your canister, insert it like so. You want to hold here and rotate this point right there so that this hole lines up in there. Pick up your bolt, insert it in the hole, squeeze the bone. You got to make sure everything's lined up. And press the bolt in there. What you don't want to do is tighten it down real hard. Just use two fingers. That's as tight as it ever needs to be. Oops. That was an outtake, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, squeeze the bone, put the bolt in, and two fingers tight, like so. Pick up your bolt, squeeze the bone, insert the bolt, two fingers tight. go. Last one. Two fingers tight. And that's it. That's how you put them in. Squeeze. Remember to put a little bit of uh, lizagaff or grease on your um, uh, canister bolts and your 532nd wrench. You're done.